In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to turn off any iPad without the touchscreen. So assuming the touchscreen is not working or for one reason or another, how can you turn off your iPad without that touchscreen? Now, I'll show you two methods. The first method is using Siri. Okay, so you can actually call on Siri either by voice by saying, hey Siri, or you can just long press on the power button. So if you long press on this power button here, Turn off iPad. Yes. So it's going to ask for confirmation once you tell Siri to turn off your iPad. And once you confirm, your iPad is going to get turned off. And that is the first way of turning off your iPad. Now I'm just going to turn it back on so I can show you the second method. Now the second method is not really for everyone. It really depends on your situation. If your iPad is frozen, then this might work. Okay. Now, if you have a cracked screen and that's the reason you're not able to use your display, then that might be a different story. This is only for people who have a normally working uh, screen that is incapacitated by either freezing or just any kind of deadlock. Okay. So what you want to do in the second method is to force restart that iPad. Maybe that will get rid of any freezing or deadlock situation. And then now you can turn off your iPad using the normal method. This is for people who cannot access Siri to turn off your iPad. So what you want to do is press volume up and then volume down and then power button. Okay, so this is volume up, volume down, and then long press on that power button and that should uh, first restart your iPad. You want to long press on this power button until the Apple logo appears. Okay, so let's do this together. Now, keep in mind, for people with newer iPads, which have these dynamic volume buttons, that the the dynamic volume buttons do not work when it comes to force restarting your iPad. Okay, so when it comes to force restarting, this is always volume up and this is always volume down. So volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button. That should bring up the power menu on the screen. But since we're not using the screen, we'll just continue holding that power button until the screen goes off. And then give it a couple of seconds. You'll see the Apple logo, then you can release. Now that's going to force restart your iPad and get rid of any uh, freezing that was there that was preventing you from using the touch screen. And once it boots up, then you can now go ahead and switch it off the normal way. So those are the two ways of doing that. So right now, as you can see, my iPad, my iPad has booted up. The touch screen should now be working unless it's broken, obviously. Then now I can use my normal method of long pressing the power and volume up buttons and then sliding to power off. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.